What is going on guys, this is Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Rock of Ages 3! Now, last time we left off, we did the, like, the Flying Spaghetti Monster, like, initial mission over here, as well as the Humpty Dumpty mission over, like, across, heck, and, like, on the opposite side of the map, over in the, uh, the Asia Wonderland, or whatever that thing was called over there. And now, what I want to do is I move, I want to move on over here to Switzerland. We want, <laughs> we were originally going to do this, like, last episode, and then you guys commented saying, hey, you, you could do this flying spaghetti monster mission, and then I remembered Humpty Dumpty and all the kind of stuff. We got super carried away. So let's go over here, let's go to the Switzerland War, and let's see what this is all about over here. Oh man! Should I have changed to the flying spaghetti monster? No, I think we're fine. William Tell, though. Oh, he's gonna shoot an apple off that guy's head. Hey, look, it's me. It's the main character of Rock of H3. Oh. oh no! Oh no, it's a big old snowball! Oh man! <laughs> what in the world? William Tell Jr. Yeah, this is just completely wacky. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I... Oh man, I'm going against William Dell Jr. with the apple on his head. <laughs> I don't know if I should have changed over to the uh, Flying Spaghetti Monster since we beat him last episode, but I guess we'll still be Genghis Khan for this, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. Either way... Oh man, yeah, we have a lot of balls unlocked now, huh? Anyways, we do have this... What is this? A meatball? Unlike other boulders, the giant meatball gains mass and power as it rams into obstacles. Ooh. That seems interesting. We also have the cheese wheel, so I guess we got the meatball and the cheese from the, uh... What in the world? There you go. I don't know why I was, like, going up and down there. It was going crazy. I guess we got these from the Flying Spaghetti Monster as, like, a meatball and cheese and... Man, I don't know why I'm still doing that, though. Either way... Ah, man, how's this compare, though? You can never go wrong with cheese. Very low strength, very high speed, like we assumed over here. 26 speed compared to 23 on the Rock of Ages, I think. Yep, 23 and then 10 acceleration. This one has... 17 acceleration, sheesh. So if we come to a stop, we can get all the way back up the speed pretty quickly here. Damage is only 160. I think it's 220 or something like that for Rock of Ages. Yeah, no, 200 for Rock of Ages. Weight is 100, and uh, weight is 50 for the cheese wheel. It makes sense because it's a small little circular little thing instead of like a whole entire sphere, right? So, do we want? what do we want to try out first? kind of want to try out the cheese wheel, honestly. And being all thin like that, it should be pretty easy to avoid obstacles and stuff like that. So let's do the cheese wheel there. You know what? Maybe I'll, uh... Yeah, maybe I'll try out both balls. Maybe for the first time ever, I'll get both ball- two balls, and then we can choose which ball before we actually start. Now, what do I want to do now? Oh yeah, by the way, also while editing the video last episode, I realized that the dragon upgrade over here, like if we have the upgrade, it's just going to be inside the mine itself. We don't have to place anything down, so that's really cool. If you look closely, you could actually see it's like in the, uh, the little mine. I don't think I'm going to be doing that though, but we definitely do want to have some sort of mine. Kinda want to try out the new branching bolt. Lightning bolts can branch out and seek nearby targets. Kinda want to get that one, though. Hold on, is that... That might just be an upgrade for my initial... Like, my free lightning bolt that I could do while in the build mode, huh? I thought this was something I could place down, but I guess not, huh? You know, if that's the case... Maybe not try it out just yet. We also have the cannon over here, powerful weapon, but it takes very long to reload. You know, I kinda want to get the trebuchet and the catapults, like we always do. Seems like a great unit there. And then, uh, you know what? The bullet heaven is great and all. But maybe, uh... Maybe we'll get the Firework Cannon. Let's get the Firework Cannon there. That seems good. Then maybe, uh, you know, if we didn't have two balls, maybe I'd also get the Bowl of Heaven. And then maybe also the, uh, maybe the Cannon as well? Maybe forget about the Towers for right now, but, you know, right now we're just going to have the two balls, the Cheese Ball, the Meat Ball, the Fireworks, the Catapult, the Trebuchet, and the Mine. And I wonder when we're going to unlock that last little slot right there. Hmm. Either way, let's just move on. Let's say we're ready. Let's move on. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yep, choose your boulder. You know, let's do the Cheese Wheel first. So there we go. All right. So yeah, that's what happens whenever you have uh, multiple boulders, is that now we could actually choose which boulder we want to use right before each round, so that's really cool. And I'll just place some trebuchets here, right at the, uh, the start, so we could actually kind of pummel him during the straightaway bit right here, seems good. Free money, free money, nice. And, uh, let's keep looking- oh, nice, uh, mine over here, yeah, I should definitely, uh, look out for mines. I thought back in, like, Rock of Ages 2 and maybe the original? I don't know. But I- I thought that- oh, now, nice, it's like on its own island here, don't even really need any defenses there, sheesh. 
But yeah, I thought it was like Rock of Ages 2 or maybe even 1. You were able to like teleport. They're like, oh man, this is like right at the end. You're there like a little thing kind of like this. Oh wait, is that actually the teleport? I guess it is, huh? Okay, I thought I thought I thought I didn't see that earlier, but whatever. <laughs> I know we do have fireworks. I, I realized while editing last episode as well that fireworks would be really good, like kind of off to the side, not like in the center, just so we can kind of, uh, you know what? Oh yeah, you know what? We should definitely have some catapults here too, and you know what? Like this, that's going to be fine. Just kind of keep them away from here, just because we don't have towers now. Uh, but let's play some trebuchets here. Definitely, like on every straightaway, definitely want to have some trebuchets. And then some catapults as well. Then of course we can- Oh, whoa! Our cheese wheel's ready! I, I wonder how long it takes to make, though, for the cheese wheel. If I want to look into that, you guys, but... We do have some fireworks we can place down, too, so let's do this. Another straightaway, yep, another straightaway right here, and it kind of branches off as well, so you know what? Let's do... Trebuchet here. There we go, another trebuchet. And you know what? Catapults. He's already going, though, but I'm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna take my sweet time, at least right now. And we'll, uh, you know what? Firework there. Firework, uh, firework there. Maybe I'll get a firework there, a firework there, and uh, you know what, right here at the end. Oh nice, free money. Man, I'm, 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 put, I'm really putting a lot of weight into these, uh, these trebuchets here, it's kind of crazy. Oh, he's already going! Hold on, let's zap. Where is he? There he is right there! Can I zap him? He's a, yep, he's a snowball, just like I assumed he'd be. Let's zap him, can I zap him? No, two seconds until, no! Man, he's already gone! Golly! Alright, well, let's place down some of these, there we go. Some random fireworks like that, and let's just go. Man, I spent a lot of time there, but we do have a fastball right now. Or whatever you'd want to call this, the heck and cheese wheel. Yeah, it's got explosives right there. Man, look at how fast we're going. Jeez. Of course, we, we can't really break through things too easily there. Sheesh. But let's go. Let's keep going. You know what? Let's get that money. Should I get, should I go? Let's go destroy his mine. We've already slowed down a little bit. Don't hit the explosives, but there you go. His mine is gone. Nice. Can I turn around? Oh, man, I have to actually. Oh! Just narrowly avoided that explosion right there. Jeez. All right, let's go this way. We have a spinny thing here as well as oil towers we need to watch out for here, you guys. At least that's what it looks. Oh, no. Man, we're going flat. Man, my cheese wheel's getting whacked against a tower. Man, what is that? Some sort of, whoa, I got frozen. But we need to stay away from those things. Holy, oh. And then I just run into and get explosives. I'm so stupid. I didn't even, you know what, let's try out the meatball next. Oh, that was so dumb. That was so dumb. He's going again. He's going again. Where is he? Hold on. Where is the, uh, oh, there, yeah, there he is right there. You know what? Zap him. I get him? I got him right there. Nice. Got a really good hit right there. Let's continue placing down some, uh, I got to place another one of the, oh man, I've already placed down all the, uh, all those that I can do. Holy heck. Didn't think I'd do that already. I guess I did. Sheesh. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's do another one right here so we can maybe get him on that corner. That seems good. And there you go. Get another one there. And, uh, you know what? Uh, you know, try and get- Oh man, I can go again already, golly, that's good. Uh, you know what, I really need more on this, so you know what, I'm gonna place these on the sides, like this. And let's do another one. Oh man, he hit us again, I feel like we're gonna lose, you guys. I re <laughs> I really do. Uh, it's just a hunch, huh? But, is that all? Yeah, you know what, that's pretty much all we can do, so let's just do that. Oh man, the meatball's tiny! Yeah, we hit obstacles and we, like, grow and stuff like that, but man, look at how tiny I am! Boom! Hit that thing! Hopefully we grew a little bit right there, but man, you know what? I kind of don't want what at the same time. Oh, jeez! We just ran into something right there, now I'm a frozen meatball. And let's just- okay, well, this is where we die, so we've all- oh, no, 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 no! Man, yeah, whenever you're frozen like that, you can't control. You just lose control during that, man! Alright, can I kill this guy and gain some- I don't know if I can. You know what, what about like trees and stuff like that? I wonder if I gain any, uh, any mass, I guess you could call it, by hitting trees. I wonder. And what about like elephants and stuff like that? There you go. Kill that egg and elephant. Kill the- oh, did I get it? I did. And yeah, look at that, you just saw me grow a little bit right there. Let's destroy this thing. Boom! Did I just grow right there? Hopefully I did. Alright, another elephant. A few catapults right here. Boom! Run into you, run into you. Kill you. Oh my gosh. Well, we're getting hit by a lot of egg and stuff right now. We, we're, we're losing a lot of, uh, strength, whatever you want to call that right now, but man, we're getting rid of, like, every catapult right there. It's kind of crazy. Kill this. Oh, man, we have, like, no speed! I'm on fire, though! You know what? I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up. I'm going to destroy these two. I'm like, we pro- Oh, God! I'm falling off again! No! Man, I really hope that we could actually destroy that snowball and hopefully catch up here. I don't know if we will, but... You know what? This is probably the best we'll get. Let's just go. Let's just try and get as much speed as possible. Ah, mid-speed, fragile boulder. That's ah, that's 
pretty bad, honestly. Golly, you know what? We need, let's let's do this. Cheese wheel this time. Man, we're we're one hit away from dying right now, you guys. We're not doing very well at all. Golly. Couldn't put another firework thing like right there. That's fine. I don't care. Let's put uh there you go. Put that there. Put a catapult like here too. What if I put a trebuchet like here? I don't know, but there's money. Let's grab that money. Uh we can only do one more trebuchet right now. Or do I wanna do it? Hmm. I don't know, maybe like, I'm like, I wanted to do, oh, well, yeah, I did one here, let's do another one there, there you go. Alright, man, I just can't, like, place down too many things, you know? Let's just place down a bunch of catapults here, just why not? <laughs> there you go, and, uh, some more catapults here, there you go, just kind of litter them all over that good place. And let's place some more catapults here, just because, well, this is like right, oh man, not quite at the end, but that's all I can place down. I guess I could place down another mine here, but, oh man, speaking of, look at that, gold land, like, right next to the mine. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got the power of speed with this cheese wheel. We've already knocked down a pretty good amount of obstacles, except for these heckin' explosives right there. Let's just race to the very end. That cheese wheel actually gets made pretty heckin' fast, too, so... Speaking of fast, look at how fast we're going right now. We can actually go all the way to the end, hopefully. Let's just avoid that. Oh, man, what in the world? I still hit it. Oh, no! Man, I'm losing some durability there, unfortunately. I wonder what the appeal of the, um, the ice snowball thing is over there, though. There you go, take a little bit of damage there, unfortunately, but... We've got a lot of speed on our side! Boom! Max speed, full strength! Did a pretty good amount of damage there. Now, hopefully he doesn't hit us again. You know what? I'm gonna go again with the cheese wheel. Where is he? Golly, he's like right at the end. I hope he doesn't get us. Hopefully we get him. Come on, zap him. Zap him. Get him, get him, get him. I zapped him right there, nice. I don't know if we'll be able to kill him here, though. Man, he's gonna do a, little, a lot of damage, I'm sure. Can't zap him. Oh, nice, he didn't get our door. Man, that's actually really surprising right there. Holy heck. All right, well, I still can't afford anything. I've got $4,000. Maybe I shouldn't have gone the two balls route. I should have gotten, like, another building or something. Because I actually can't build anything else unless I build another mine like this. Get me even more money that I can't even spend. I'm like, I might as well spend something, right? Sheesh. You know, I thought maybe, like, right here we'd be able to get them. Maybe I should put some here as well. Man, I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, our ball is almost done, so we can start racing towards the end here in just a moment. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is he going again? I don't know if he's going again, but let's go. Let's just go. Oh! Let's not run into anything here. Let's just get max speed like we did last time. Full strength like we did last time. It's good to know that there is a little bit of... Oh, man, I ran into that an elephant there. But it is good to know that there is a little bit of leeway there. Whenever you uh, take a little bit of damage, it it'll still count as full strength. I guess until you, like, lose maybe, like, 25% of your health or something. Okay, look at how fast we're going towards the end here, you guys. And we can- a really good acceleration so we get up to speed very quickly. One more hit and he's down. If we can kill him here, that's gonna be good. Let's go- let's go again for the meat- or, uh, for the cheese wheel. There you go. Okay, let's go to him. Let's try and zap him here, you guys. Try and zap him here. Hopefully it's not too early. Man, I missed that was too early. Oh, nice! We slowed him down hardcore there, though. Let's try and zap him. Let's get him, let's get him, let's get him. Zapped him! Nice! That's good, that's good. All right, he's already down to maybe a third of his health. Let's try and zap him again. Got him again. Nice. Man, we might be able to get him. We might be able to get him. Which way is he going to go? I'm going to go. Yes, he's going left. He's going left. We zapped him. We got him right there. We killed him with the zap. I got an achievement for that. Thunder God. Man, that was amazing. Look at the fireworks going off because of the celebration going on right now. Sheesh, that was awesome. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm like, I didn't really blaze anything on this direction. I should I should do that because it's kind of a straightaway. So let's do a catapult right there. $7,000 in the bank. We may make a comeback here, you guys. We may do it. Our cheese wheel is almost done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Doug, come on. Boom. Let's go! The fastest heckin' ball boulder cheese wheel, whatever you want to call it, in the game is going! Let's- oh man, he's got a lot of spinny do hickeys, but we're flying over here! Holy, let's go through the wall, even though we had a big hole in the wall already, but whatever. We don't really have that much control when we're flying in the air like that. But, we already killed that, that, that elephant there, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I kind of hit that thing right there. We still have a lot of speed going on right now. If we- oh, no! What? What? I'm like a flying saucer cheese wheel right now. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. We're right at the end. If we hit his wall before he hits ours, we win. And we we have the power of acceleration on our side. Hopefully, let's get him. We got him. Let's go kill him. Let's go crush him. And the apple on his head. Boom. Got him. Man, that was close. Way too close for comfort. Holy. Whoa. If we didn't destroy his ball at the very end there, you guys. We would have lost. I know it. I know it for a heckin' fact. Alright, well, let's continue on. Man, that was fun. 
Let's move on to, uh, what in the world is this? Switzerland Avalanche? That's a new thing. I didn't notice that until now. And we have the unit challenge here. We have Ski Ball here. Wait, what did that get rid of? The obstacle course? This is the, uh, time trial, isn't it? No, that's the obstacle I guess they got rid of the time trial to put in this avalanche here. Ooh. Defend your castle gate against avalanche of rocks and avalanche of rocks. And same thing over here. We have the same avalanche thing. That's kind of interesting, though. We have, like, different mini games here. Tenechtilan uh, Avalanche. That's kind of weird, considering it's, like, in Mexico or something like that, right? But... What do we want to do now? You know what? I kind of want to try out that avalanche thing. Let's do this. Win two stars. Your castle gate is intact when the challenge ends. I, I I don't know really what that means because I haven't done this yet, but let's see. Let's see if we can keep our castle gate intact. I guess if it breaks, you lose, but if you, if you win, it's intact, and therefore you always get two stars. Maybe? I don't know. But let's see what this actually is. Choose your weapons. Okay, so we have weapons now. Hmm. What do I want to get? I love the trebuchet and the and the catapults. I might I'm gonna get some towers and I don't know if having a mine really makes sense for this, but I, I guess I'll get fireworks as well. And the bull of heaven is awesome. I don't know if having a mine makes sense, but uh, you know what? Maybe I'll get just because of the branching bolt, just because of how much luck we had. Oh man, I'm going up against two AIs for this. I don't know if we'll actually. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll. I feel like it's going to be kind of like like a unit challenge. You place down the stuff and then you race. So I, I feel like maybe the branching bolt won't make sense. You know what? Maybe we'll get the, uh... I don't know if the, like, it, I don't know if the mine will work. Maybe we'll get the spring. There you go, the springboard. So let's do that, and I guess we're good. Alright, let's move on. Two and a half, or two, two minutes fifty. So, oh man, my army's ready? Oh my gosh, I could do that already. Okay. Well, this is the start. And then the, oh yes, there is a mine! Oh my gosh! Okay, well, and then here's the end. Ooh, okay, so... What we need to do... Let's place down some trebuchets here. Place down some more trebuchets. There. Place down some, uh, springboards, like, right here. Yeah, there you go. Then, if he tries to ever, like, go into there, we could, uh, knock him off to the side, perhaps. Maybe get some towers here. There you go. Let to prevent him. Well, he kind of funnels him into there, you know? I, I, don't, I don't know what I was thinking here. <laughs> oh, man! But let's get some catapults here as well. Boom. Oh, man, I could even slip one in right there. Nice. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to get some catapults here in the front as well, on the front line. Let's get a lot of them here, though, you guys. Let's just get a, let's just get a whole line of catapults. Let's get some springboards here in the middle, too. There you go. Kind of like a checkerboard pattern of them. That seems good. There you go. And get some fireworks mixed into there as well. Like every other block can have fireworks. There we go. This is crazy here, you guys. I'm just kind of banking on hopefully killing them there at the very end. But we have a lot of mo Oh, man. And a bowl of heaven. Can I... Oh, I could even slip that in here. I could slip in two bowl of heavens here. Holy heck. Let's do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. Alright. Man, a lot of money falling down from the sky. I need to grab those because I don't have an economy right now, but... Let's get the, uh... Because we don't have, a uh, We don't have mines, like I just said. So let's actually, uh, place down... Uh, these right here. Let's, uh... I guess get some catapults as well. Because every every time there's, like, a straightaway like this, we might as well take, a use, take use of it. And, uh, there you go. Look at all the money falling down. I'm trying to remember to get all of them. There we go, guys. There you go. And, uh, you know what? Let's get a bowl of heaven. Oh, you know what? We could do a shortcut right here. This is a pretty good place to do a shortcut. Holy hockey, guys. Let's do a springboard right here. Just kind of prevent him from hopefully jumping into that. So there you go. There you get some fireworks off. Oh, man, I don't have enough money. But we do have money falling from the sky. So let's grab... Oh, man, I... Man, I just... Why can't I grab that money? What? Oh, what? Wait, what happened? There you go. I don't know why I can't grab that money. Man! Oh, I could sell that. Ooh. Hold on. I wonder how I could sell that. It said B right there. Hold on. Oh. B. So let's do this. Wait, did I just sell that right there? I don't know if I did right there. Oh, you have to hold it down. There you go. So there you go. I sold it, but the, the places are still gone, though, so that sucks. Grab that money. Yeah, I couldn't grab that money there a second ago for some reason. That's, that sucks. We'll have enough money still for the bull of heaven. Seconds to the next wave. You know what? Let's just go. Let's just go right now. Oh, wait. What in the world? Wait, where's my ball? Oh, I'm... I'm I'm sp it's like the uh like the first mission. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's why I didn't get to choose a ball. Man, yeah. So now these guys are all jumping around. We can still build here though, and there's a lot of money falling from the sky, which is good. And hopefully they don't uh, survive at the end there. But we do have a lot of explosives we can place down, so there you go. And you know what? I should definitely have gotten some trebuchets or something here, you guys. Fireworks are going off right now. They're already getting Oh man, are they- Oh man, they missed that- that jump from there all the way to there, so that's good. Man, my trebuchets from all the way over there trying to get them. That's good. Nice. Speaking of trebuchets, let's place down some more of them, uh... Right here on this corner. Just so we can hopefully get them from afar as they're coming down. So, there we go. And you know what? Catapults. Mix in a few catapults here as well, as I have the money. Let's keep an eye out for money just laying on the ground. 
Some of the- oh, nice. There's some money right there. Some of these are actually getting really, really low right now, you guys. I love it. I don't know if any are going to die. I may, some of them may have already died. Man, look at that range of those trebuchets there. It's crazy. They get knocked off? No, they didn't get knocked off the edge just yet. Man. But yeah, here at the very end, we've got a lot of egg and stuff stacked up. I want to see if anyone survives through that. And some of them may not even survive to even get there, it looks like. This one's going through, though. He's getting hit by the, uh, by the springboards. The fireworks and stuff are going off. Man, these guys are getting pummeled. That is amazing. Let's continue placing down catapults here. Boom. More tr You know what? You know what? This is a fantastic place to put a bowl of heaven. Yeah, that guy just died. This guy just- Oh, nice. Those two bowls of heaven there at the end did an amazing job. Oh, man. How many ways do I have to survive? Let's get, uh, you know what? More ca Oh, you know what? This catapult doesn't really have that good a range. Maybe I should get another trebuchet here. Like that. And then another one, like, right here. Nah, I can't squeeze one in there, unfortunately. Man. Alright, let's keep placing them here, because right here at the very end, man, this does a lot of good damage here, you guys. It's crazy. And, uh, you know what? Let's place another one here. And... I don't know about this corner. I guess we could do one there, sure. And let's continue placing down some catapults here, just because, oh my gosh. There you go. Bowl of Heaven. Let's get multiple bowls of Heaven here at the very end. Hopefully either, either trap these guys or just destroy them or whatever. And then off to the sides, we could have some, some uh, fireworks going. Just to kind of distract them, as well as do a little bit of damage to them. So that's good. Get some more money here that's just falling out of the sky. That's great. I cannot place down any more fireworks. It's not letting me. So I guess I'll place down some of these springboards here instead. So there you go. Just kind of randomly as well. You know what? Off to the side, we need to make these uh, kind of face off like that. So they bounce off the map. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say my army's ready, and we're ready to go. I can't place down any more springboards, unfortunately. Uh, you know what? I'll place down. I'll do some more catapults there. Some more money there. That's good. Do this a little, few more times. Can I do more trebuchets? I can do like one or two more, but like not too many more than that, unfortunately. Let's do this. Hopefully the. Uh, oh man, someone fell off the map already. It sounds like. <laughs> That's funny. Let's do. Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, we never did any trebuchets over here, did we? Golly. I can do one more as soon as I get the money. So boom. I need a little bit more money, though, and I'll be able to- Oh, nice, nice, there's some money right there, I didn't see that. I can't grab it for some reason. There you go, grab that one, though. So that's good. And you know what? Let's do that. There you go. Trebuchet going right there, that's good. Haven't killed anyone just yet, though. Doesn't look like it. Someone fell off the map, and I assume that counts as a death, I assume? So, that'd be good. Seems like a great place right here to place some trebuchets and stuff. Uh, oh, I can't place another one, unfortunately. I guess I'll place down some catapults here. There's some, like, Yodele, Kihu going on in the- I can use it going on right now. <laughs> These guys are getting stuck from the bowl of heaven, though. That's amazing. And yeah, these guys are bombs, so when they when they die, they explode, which actually killed my bowl of heavens right there. Two of them, man. But we did kill, like, everyone there, which is good. There's still a few giant boulders here, some small, medium boulders, a few bomb boulders that have survived, unfortunately. But they're going to go down with this huge catapult army and more going on right here, you guys. It's crazy. Man, we haven't even placed down, like, very many actual towers here. You know what? Maybe I'll place down some towers here in the middle. There you go. Just kind of... There we go. That's a good... I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Holy heck. <laughs> Let's place down some more uh, fireworks here. There we go. You know what? Right here, the jump. And uh, I can place down one more springboard. That's good. Wait, what? Someone died? Oh, I guess that's the sound that happens. Yeah, that's the sound that happens whenever they just... All their units die. Nice! Zero door hits. That's two stars, I think. Right. There you go. Boom. I like the avalanche. Yeah, I completely forgot that was a thing. I think that was like the first uh, thing that we actually did, wasn't it? Like, it first showed us breaking out of the, uh, that, that Cyclops' cave, and then after that we had to survive his onslaught of, like, boulders you were throwing at us, like King Kong, or, uh, Donkey Kong style. <laughs> King Kong style. But yeah, we could do the same thing over here in Tenechtelon, or whatever it's called. But next up, what do we want to do? Do we want to do the obstacle course? Do we want- you know what, let's do Ski Ball. It's a little bit of a, a more different type of game. I feel like the obstacle course is very similar to the, to the avalanche, it's just that we're- we're the balls, <laughs> so we need to, instead of building the obstacles, we have to go through the obstacles as the ball, I guess you could say, so. For this one, though, the ski ball. Do we want to be the cheese wheel and get a lot of speed and potentially, I don't know, if we have a lot of speed, we might overshoot it. Oh, we got the snowball during that. Slowly melts down, but has a great knockback resistance and controls better than other boulders on ice. Yeah, we're not going to be on, we, oh, we might be on ice on this one, yeah. I don't remember if this map had ice. But, oh, man, we also have the balloon boulder. It can jump much higher, but is considerably weaker. Maybe this is a good one for the obstacle course. But the speed is just slow. 18, 13 acceleration, so it will be able to catch up with us and stuff, you know? So, mm, what do I want to do here? Did we ever use a fire boulder? I don't know if we ever did. Maybe. Man, there's only a few boulders we haven't unlocked it, you guys. You know what? I kind of want to try out the cheese wheel for this one. I feel like, uh, like the meatball one doesn't really make too much sense for this. Oh, what does he have? 
Oh, he has a sheep lump. Yeah, didn't we have the Rock of Ages? Uh, yeah, we have the Rock of Ages for the, uh, yeah, and then we can, like, we can catch, if we fall off the map or anything like that, we can catch up hardcore easily. And, oh man, yeah, I guess it's harder to run into these things when we're a lot thinner like this. So there you go, run into these, like, dart boards here and get some points. And then we hit the, uh, the ski ball. Oh man, look at us, we're, like, almost tilted completely sideways there, that's crazy! But once we hit the, uh, the ski ball board, that's where the multipliers come into play. And we have to get a five times or a six times multiplier to get both stars here, though. And we've done that before. We did that with the Rock of Ages. It might be possible with the cheese wheel, but I really feel like we might overshoot it with the cheese wheel, considering how much faster this guy is. And now we're going on a straightaway, so we're going to gain a lot of speed with this amazing, like, acceleration that he has. I might want to slow down on purpose here at, at the very end. There we go. Slowed down on purpose and rolled into number four there. I could have landed in number three, but I rolled into number four. Nice. All right. Well, that was, that was good. We basically won right there. As long as we uh, continue outrunning this cheese or <laughs> cheese lump. <laughs> if, we out, if we continue outrunning this uh, sheep lump, we're going to continue. We're just going to win just because we're going to hit the the, uh, the board a lot faster than him. Let's get all the dart, dart boards here and get as many points as we can. And man, it's crazy how like tilted we are. Yeah. Oh, a lot of dart boards here we can get. There you go. Dart boards or like aim boards for like a, like a bow and arrow sort of thing. I don't know what they're called. I'm just going to call them like dart boards. It's basically what it looks like. A right? target board? I guess I could call it a target board. I mean, it has a target on it. Not necessarily exclusively for darts or anything like that, right? So I guess a target, yeah, I guess a target board makes more sense. Now we have 100 points already, 110 on last round. What multiplier are we going to get this time around to even further our lead? Because I doubt, oh man, we're already at 110 there. Is there another one here at the end? I'm going to gain a little bit more speed. I purposely slowed down last time, but I'm going to try and get a little bit more speed so we can get for. Oh, I'm going to overshoot it. Oh, oh man, that was insane control right there. Landed at number five. I totally would have overshot right there if it wasn't for me rolling back, doing some control, trying to land back into number five. Man, that was amazing. Now here for the final round. That sheep lump is going to get like basically no egg points. We're, we're going to hit a thousand plus points here. No problemo. And boom, we've hit a thousand. Nice. All right, let's just get all these like dart boards. Just rub it in his second face. We're getting a sheep lump for this. Going up against a cheese wheel. Oh, you think you can pass me? Well, there you go. You just got past, Data. I've got amazing acceleration, amazing top speed. You can't even handle that and cheese wheel, Ada. Oh, no. Almost fell off the edge, but I jumped and survived. Nice. Who knows? Maybe this cheese wheel is goat cheese. It may be. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. Let's just keep going. Man, we've got so many points here. I'm, ju I'm just rubbing it in at this point. We've all- Man, there's so many bar dart boards here. Let's just get- or, You know, target boards, whatever I called them earlier. Whatever. <laughs> Let's keep on going. Let's get as many points as possible. Just rub it in. Let's get a bunch of- and, and you know what? Should we go for number six this time? Or, uh, yeah, maybe we should. Go off to the side a little bit. But- Oh, no! We're gonna fall off the map, but- Oh! Hold on. Can I, like- Oh! Wait, oh, wait. Oh, the sheep lump got a two times multiplier, I think, or a one times. Yeah, you got a one times multiplier with actually zero points right there. Wow. Amazing job right there, sheep lump. <laughs> he has 20 points in the end. We have 1140. That's amazing. Sheesh. Terrible. At least on his end, right? But there's the, uh, there's the ski ball right there. What are we going to do next? A unit challenge or the Oscar course? You know what? Maybe we'll do the unit challenge next. Let's do this one. What is that unit there, though? I don't know what that is. Let's, let's see what it is. Let's, let's jump into this map and let's see what this unit is. Seems like some sort of like sled or something. I don't know. I think I'm going to get the Rock of Ages or... Hmm. Maybe I should go for the Cheese Wheel again. The Cheese Wheel just like speeds through everything so easily. But it's so weak though. It, it lowers strength at 1600. Maybe I should try out something else. Maybe the Meatball. Hmm. Maybe. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do the Meatball. We did the Cheese Wheel recently. Let's do the Meatball now. Ooh, yeah. Look at this. What is this thing, though? Does it say what it is or what it does? I have no idea. I'm just going to place down a lot of them here, though. And off to the side and stuff, too. So there you go. Oh, it's like some sort of cannon, maybe? I don't know. I can't really tell what it is. But I have to make it orient uh, a specific direction, so... Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll do that there, and then we can do another one here. There you go. We can do another one, like, right here at this corner. Get that money. There you go. Yeah, I don't know what these things actually are. I guess we'll see whenever we actually hop into the map, but, uh... I've, I've, oh wait, no, I thought I reached my limit right there, but I guess not. Put one like right outside of that heckin' speed thing right there. You know what, let's place down another one right here, just in case it actually does have a sort of proximity thing. Before it, uh, oh man, some lava right there, a little island. Yeah, a little, little island right here we could do. Nah, you can't do a shortcut there, I don't think. We have a speed thing right here. You know what, let's do this. We can go, we can go, hold on, where's the end? This is the end, hold on, let's just put like, 
Mm, I can't do any. Oh, wait, yeah, I can do a few more. There you go. Just put a few of them, like, right there at the very end. We got the meatball this time. He's going up against the, uh, the snowball. So let's get a speed. Boom. We don't get any, uh, anything from... Oh, man. So what do these things do, though? Oh, they are some sort of, like... I don't know how to describe it, but... Oh, oh man. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, this is a corner. Oh, man. I was kind of tricked. I saw two of them right next to each other. You know what? Let's destroy them. Oh, it's kind of like a punching thing. Kind of like a ram or something. There you go. Keep destroying some things so we gain some a little, uh, like, size, like, as you can say. And we can do more damage, I assume? Oh, man. Oh, man. I thought the... So now I'm looking at, like, everything and thinking that they're, like, potentially corners. Now, can we outmaneuver this thing by doing this? Oh. Well, I need to have more strength, or... There you go. We do have more damage, though, at 220 on this thing, but that might be for whatever it's maxed out. I don't know. Yeah, he's just running into all my heckin' stuff there, you guys. Oh, no! Oh, wait, what? Yeah, he ran into my wall! Man! Yeah. I don't think we- Oh, man. Oh, he's going to get us. He killed us. Man, I knew that was going to happen. I didn't know what this thing actually was. Alright, let's try it again. Retry this. Now that we know what this, like, ram thing is, it does make sense to have it off to the side and stuff. You know what? Maybe I'll get, uh... Maybe the cheese wheel is able to just outrun it, though, right? Speed is 19. It feels like this this thing has, like, really good speed, but I guess not. Let's get the cheese wheel. Just because the cheese wheel might be able to outrun these little ram things here, you know? So let's try and run... Yeah, like, right here where it kind of... There you go. We might be able to, like, ram them off in either direction, perhaps. So if we do that there, that seems good. And, uh, you know what? Maybe, uh... Maybe, like, right here at the very end. And then, you know what? We could do the same... We could do this. There you go. Right at that tight corner right there. We could do it again here. Trying to ram them off. And then, uh... Nice little choke point right here we'll be able to hopefully ram them off of. I need to pay attention to money falling out of the sky here, though. I, he I hear it falling out of the sky. I just don't know where it is right now, though. So, there you go. Get a couple of these right there. And another one right here with a choke point. That's good. There we go. All right. Yeah, you could probably just, like, run right into us or something, so... I do need to watch out make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, he's already going. Oh, we don't have money. Let's just go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm like, at least with the cheese wheel, we might be able to just outrun, like, just run past... Oh, man. Might be able to just run past it, not even take any damage, and then, like, race... Oh, we got hit right there, though! Right as I say that... Whoa. And free money. Let me grab that, even though it doesn't make sense, because this round is just going to end here in just a moment, but... There you go. Oh, he's got the balloon this time! What in the world? Oh, he actually got hit by my stuff! That's good, that's good. He's got a slow balloon, a lot more maneuverable and stuff, but, uh, there you go. Just run right past, and let's race to the very end. I think he's where we just were. So we are ahead of him significantly. There we go. Get a nice speed boost out of this. Nice, but there is a big corner right here. Ooh! Man, I almost felt the map right there. Just run right past these things. Man, I'm glad I saw that was a big corner. Where are we going? Oh, nice, nice. This is the end. This is the end. Let's just ram right... You know what? Just run right over it then. There we go. 600 damage. Max speed. Damaged boulder. Man, yeah, we're at half durability right now. It's crazy. Now I have to destroy this thing. I don't know if I can with my current cheese wheel. Oh, man, I've got, like, big holes in my cheese... Oh, you know what? Let's get to a side. This thing keeps ramming into us here. Let's get to a side. It might be a weak spot. Let's get it. Come on. What in the world? There we go. We got it. Yeah, you can see there's like chunks of cheese falling out of us whenever we, uh, battering ram, that's what it's called. Chunks of cheese coming out of us whenever we're weakened and stuff like that, that's funny. Alright, well there you go, that's the unit challenge, we got that one. How many stars? We're at the 41 stars, man! What are we going to unlock now? We can almost unlock this thing right here, the Trojan horse, I think it was? Yeah, we can almost unlock that one, that's awesome. Anything else like over here, though? Uh, no, we already have that. 55 stars for that boss battle. Let's go do the obstacle course real quick. We might be able to do this one. You know what? If this is an obstacle course, this is perfect for the meatball. There's going to be a lot of obstacles we're going to be running into. And of course, running into obstacles, like, just powers up the meatball. It makes them even more powerful. So let's just do that. Let's pick the meatball. And maybe maybe later we'll have a, have a scenario for the snowball and stuff. But yeah, speaking of snow, yeah, we're going up against two snowballs right now. So now we're going up against them, and you know what? We got sticky cows right here. And we got we got towers right here. We have to run into. So there you go, run into them on purpose. Run into that elephant on purpose. Boom. Yeah, we do need to watch out for our durability as well. Don't want to hit any explosives, or else you know that just straight up damages. I doubt we'd uh, get any power from those, right? Now we have uh, oil towers here. Boom, ram into you. Did we grow a little bit right there? I don't know. And we got the toad guy. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the guy that we get when we do the unit challenge for the for the. Uh, for the flying spaghetti monster. I think that's what we get, the toad slash frog guy. So let's watch out for that once we uh, ever do the unit challenge for them. But let's just run into elephant and fall off the map, apparently. Man! Yeah, it is a race. You do have to survive the obstacles. So we're already far ahead right now. Oh, man. Wait, hold on. 
Where are the other guys? I don't know. They might be behind me. I guess I killed that elephant there. I saw it, like, poof away. I thought maybe uh, one of the enemies got there in time, but no. I guess I'm, like, really far ahead of them or something like that, but... Boom! Kill! Oh, no! Man, yeah, that happened again! Hit the elephant and we fell off the map. <laughs> really need to watch out for that. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Man. Oh, man, that dude took us back a ton. He killed that elephant right there, though. Is this the... Snowball this in first place or second place or what is this? I don't know, but I'm just gonna roll right past. Oh no, I hit a sticky cow. Man, I tr and this is a very thin bit right here though. So we need to watch out for these second sticky cows right there. That's a really good place to put them like in choke points right there, you know? Put a sticky cow in choke points, that's a really good idea. Almost felt the map right there. <laughs> need to watch out. Two toads right here, we need to watch out frogs. There you go. I don't know the difference between a toad and a frog though. Just ram and just keep ramming into stuff just because why not? <laughs> But uh, we are about half durability right now, so we do need to watch out. Kill that catapult. And there's the building right there. I don't think... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't have, like, a gate or anything like that. Oh, man, we hit the springboard, though. Hopefully the snow... Whoa, man, the hot tar or oil or whatever might be really good against the snowball. I just thought about that. Ooh. But I think we won. Hey, just destroy their crowd. <laughs> we need to get our Illuminati crowd in here, haters. Let's go. Let's go to the next round. Yeah, if we win two rounds of this in a row, we don't have to do the third round because we just win by default. So that's good. Yep, now we got our crowd here, the Illuminati crowd. They're they're chanting on me because I won the first round, so they they, they switched to the winning side. That's good. <laughs> Let's continue. Yeah, look at how small we are right now. Then we're just going to keep growing and growing and growing, and I guess that's what inside your meatballs there, folks. Don't, uh, don't question it. It's just like the hot dog. You don't want to know what's inside of the hot dog. You don't want to know what's inside of your meatballs. It's, it's like rocks and, and towers and, like, wood and, like, frog parts and hot oil and catapults and humans <laughs> and, stuff. and elephants and stuff. Cows, sticky cows. Specifically, sticky cows. <laughs> oh, so stupid. Oh, nice. A lot of buildings right here we could run into on purpose. Nice. Uh, oh, it's thin over here, too, though. Oh, we might be able to do a shortcut here, though. You guys want to try it? Uh, oh, nice shortcut. Oh, no, no, man, not enough speed right there. We slow down a ton for the heckin' cows. If we if we do that shortcut, nah, you know what? Let's skip it, let's skip it, skip it. It spawned us a little bit too far behind or ahead or whatever you want to call that right there. There you go. Oh, I wonder if it resets my meatball size whenever I die like that. I don't know. Maybe. If so, that kind of sucks. There you go. Already destroyed that tower. Man. Well, I have a lot more health this time around, so that's good. I can survive a lot more hits. Oh, no! Oh, man, I knew there was a springboard right there. I saw it the last second. At least now we can destroy it. Eh, it doesn't matter. It's not going to be round three anyways, because oh, I'm totally going to win right now, right? Yeah, I'm not bragging. Yeah! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Hit that tower just as a celebratory thing, and yay! There you go. Yeah, you guys are all my fans now, huh? After I win the first round and the second round now, huh? Man, look at how ugly that meatball looks. It's disgusting. <laughs> and it was just continue on. And I think that's it, you guys! We did all the Switzerland stuff over here, you guys. Unfortunately, we didn't get two stars, because, of course, we didn't uh, have our castle wall at over 50% health at the end there. It was a really close one there, though, so I, I'm pretty happy about that. What's this? We unlocked the English Channel War. Ooh. 48 stars for this, five more stars to get the Phoenix Tree. 65, 80... Oh, we could unlock uh, another Winter Wonder... Or, uh, man, Age of Wonder thing. What is this one? Slithy... Slithy... What? Slithy Toes. Get Humpty Dumpty to the end of- So are these all are Humpty Dumpty levels here? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that's stupid. I like it though. What is it? Oh man, what is this? A double battering ram? Battering roof! Ooh, twice the offensive power conveniently stacked so that incoming boulders cannot jump over. Nice! I like the sound of that. That might be better than the hot oil, honestly. Hmm. I'm like, the hot oil has its advantages as well. Like, if you hit the tower and you don't, uh, you don't, like, break through it or anything like that, you have to go through the- Oh, nice! So here's the guillotine all the way over here at 77 stars. Man, what is this? I don't know what this is. I guess it unlocks whenever you progress more, huh? Hmm. Oh, man, I never saw this. 32 stars for this? Gold bag decoy. Ooh, that's the, uh... Dummy bag is full of nothing but deception. Fold- Fold boulders are launched into oblivion. Yeah, you put those on- That's like an upgrade for the, uh... What's it called? The springboard? Yeah, because we talked about that during the spaghetti mission, huh? I was like, oh man, there's like poop on the springboards, but no, it's like fool's gold. And I was like, yeah, that's definitely fool's gold, not heckin' literal poop. <laughs> so there you go, there's that. Anything else over here that we might have missed? That, uh, requires... Actually, yeah, maybe we already unlocked whatever that was back there, because some of these towers look like that tower we saw. Yeah. I don't know, maybe... I don't know what this thing is here, though. Maybe that shows up, like, after we beat the whole entire game or something. I don't know. But yeah, maybe here in the future, 
we can continue doing like if we do Humpty Dumpty missions again we can kind of mix that in with some uh flying spaghetti monster missions here just like we did last episode but man this episode has already hit the 40 minute mark for the raw footage so I need to end it like right now and then of course when we come back I guess we'll be going over here to Tenechtalan to do the Tenechtalan war with what looks like Aztec like pyramids and stuff looks kind of crazy and then, of course, for the challenges there, we also have the avalanche, we have the ski ball, we have the obstacle course, and the unit challenge, which what looks like the anvil bowl there, so that looks pretty fun. We're finally going to get that really good unit, but until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out, so you don't miss an episode. Because next time we come back, we're going to go over to, like I just said, what looks like, I think it, I think that's Mexico or something like that. The Tenochtitlan to do that mission and all of its challenges. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Rock of Ages 3. Oh, bye there.